Hello YouTube, my name is, is Matt. I am, uh, am, am the owner of Fistler Fabrication. I'm just starting the, the business and I thought I would share some information and, and topics as a, a maker and a fabricator out in the industry and you know as a, a kind of a home hobbyist turning semi-professional I've gone through and I've made a bunch of different products at home from badges and emblems for Jeeps, for um, custom Jeep signs, to um, custom components for Jeeps, as well as custom components for other off-road vehicles like the Mahindra Rocksor. And friends and family asked me, they said, well, why don't you, or could you put some of the videos on, on how do you even get started to do this? And it's, we're, we're fascinated with some of the tools you use. Um, maybe you could create a YouTube channel and, and share some of your experiences and, and share some of that knowledge. So um, it's taken me a while, but I, I thought I'd kick off this inaugural video to um, kind of give you a highlight of um, some of the things that I'm hoping to touch upon on this, this channel. And a lot of the, the work I do is surrounded by off-road fabrication for, uh, for Jeeps, but um, the majority of it is for the Mahindra Rocksor, which is an Indian-based company that acquired the license to manufacture the Rocksor back in the 40s. And um, there's a bunch of uh, enthusiasts out there that want the Rocksor to look more like a, a Jeep and um, also to provide some of the uh, accessories for the rock store that aren't out there on the, 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 the market there today. So what we'll do here is I'll, I'll take you on a quick tour, show you some of the equipment and the machines I use, and we'll highlight the rock store a bit. And um, after I highlight the rock store, then we'll take a look at since I was doing this at a home hobbyist level, I will take a look at the new pole barn I'm getting, I got constructed so I can do more prototyping and, and work on larger format items without moving the Jeep out or moving the Rocksaw out. And, um, you know, in my attempts to be more productive. So with that in mind, we'll take a look around the, the shop. And these signs here you, you see were all formed with different various processes or ones I purchased, but some of the, the work that I've made are these die sublimated metal Jeep signs. And um, this is a metal sign, but however, used the process of vinyl cutting to, to lay that on. And you look at some more of the die sublimation signs here you can take a look at, you know, some of the endless possibilities as well as how you can get something made and customize it to your garage to add some flair and personality to your environment. And I turn around here and if people are interested, I can give a highlight in some of the modifications I've done to my 2018 Jeep JK Unlimited Rubicon edition, but I wanted to swing over here I might have some videos on how to set up gears and axles, but I, I, I've seen, I think there's a bunch of them out on YouTube. But one of the things is, is to take a look at a CNC and what things you can do with a CNC and why I chose this version of CNC and why are there odd looking tubes coming out of a spindle and um, how do you control that spindle? So we'll, we'll take a look at that in additional videos as well as some even some simple tools that we, we take a look at a bandsaw but these can be frustrating if, if you don't <laughs> properly read the directions and also understanding some of the simple adjustments that can save you valuable time and frustration when you're changing blades as well as what types of blades do I use for different types of materials and then we took a look at kind of the automated version of this. This is a mill, which is almost representative of the CNC machine that's over there. What this does is um, without going in and programming uh, it via the computer, I can quickly come in here and take a piece of 
aluminum or steel and, and mill it and create customized pieces that I've done for the rock store that we'll take a look at a little bit later, as well as a lathe that can um, shape and form some parts that I've custom made for the rock saw to put on the, the soft top here. And uh, I've mentioned a lot about the rock saw. And then also, if you're curious about home automotive lifts and recommendations for the, the house, I can provide some level of, of insight there. And I'll have some videos on metal forming and shaping on how I've learned to metal shape as well as I'd love to hear some advice on your level of expertise because I'm pretty much a novice in this area and I'm, I'm looking to learn. And um, how I create some of my templates for some of the door surrounds I'm going to show you guys in the, in the videos and uh, some of the other tooling for the die, um, die sublimation stuff. And um, to take a look at my my rock saw it's a 20 i think 2018 and uh, i've done some modifications to it i've uh, put on a two and a half inch suspension lift um modified the the front bumper a bit to um clearance for the the 33s that are on there and one of the bigger changes you'll notice is the uh the grill and what i did was i took a mahindra tar grill that was produced in India, had it shipped here, and I did a lot of custom fabrication to um, to make it look like look more like a, a CJ. And I can cover in additional videos on exactly what I did and uh, maybe provide some measurements to the audience if you want to fabricate one or if you want to work with me to fabricate one for your, your rock saw. And you notice the windshield looks a little different because this is off a of, M38A1 and another thing I'm working on is um, customized windshield brackets so you can attach any type of Jeep CJ windshield to your rock saw and um, have it look factory. Um, and the reason I chose the M38A1 windshield was the channel on top because you you see the, uh, I'll go into another video detailing on the top how the top slides into to that and works out really well. And then we'll take a look into laser cutting and my templates and um, just a brief look inside the rock saw, how I've modified the roll cage and I'm creating customized dash mounts for a roll cage so you don't need to run the cage all the way to the floor because I have a pickup bar behind here that runs to the frame. So we'll take a look at that. And also all the top bow work I did to, to get the soft top locked in and then following suit with the OEM, how I created the rails to slide the, the rope system in and um, take a look at some of the, um, I don't know if we can see them back here, but some of the customized reasons I use the, the lathe to put it in there and then some of the, the metal work required to um, get the soft top engaged as well as um, you might have seen a TIG welder, plasma cutter, and a multi-process MIG TIG stick welder there. I can talk about Eastwood and, and some of my decisions upon selecting Eastwood and, and why I, I would recommend them. And then I also have a screenshot or time capture of a pole barn and what it actually takes to get a pole barn on your property, dealing with many different contractors, many different disciplines from, um, you know, putting that thing together. So we'll share that in a, uh, additional video and, um, Thanks everybody for watching. If you like it, please like or subscribe. And I look forward to the additional videos and your feedback as well as sharing some information as I get further along in some of these projects. Thank you.